Firewood becomes ash. Ash cannot become firewood again. However, we should not view ash as after or firewood as before. We should know that firewood dwells in the Dharma position of firewood and has its own before and after. Although before and after exist, past and future are cut off. Ash stays in the position of ash with its own before and after. As firewood never becomes firewood again after it has burnt to ash, there is no return to living after a person dies. However, in Buddha Dharma, it is an unchanged tradition not to say life becomes death. Therefore, we call it no arising. It is the established way of Buddha's turning the Dharma wheel, not to say that the death becomes life. Therefore, we call it no perishing. This is like winter and spring. We don't think that winter becomes a spring, and we don't say that spring becomes summer. That is the second meaning of the way, between nothing exists and everything existing in a fixed way. Uh, we are changing, but there are some principles or a law that is cause and result, or cause and effect. So there's something we have to follow, and yet things are always changing. And Dogen used the analogy of firewood and ash when he talks about that process, but uh, within the time and space. When he talks about firewood and ash, he talks about the time. And he said, firewood has its own position, own dharma position, as a firewood. And he said, there are before and after but before and after are cut off. This means the only true reality, true moment, is this present moment. Past has already gone, and future has not yet come. So this present moment is only actual moment we can experience. And this is what Uchiamuro, my teacher, said, this present moment has no length. That be, because if there's a, even a little bit length, then I, we can cut moment into two, and one is already gone, and another side has not yet come. So actually this present moment has no length, that means zero. Time disappeared. But from this present moment that is zero, you know, entire past and the entire future are reflected. This is what nothing arise, nothing perish means. I was born 70, about 70 years ago, and I will die sooner or later. But all those past and past has gone and the future has not yet come. So this is only things and this is without uh, arising and perishing. This is 100%. The moment of firewood is 100%. But when we think about the passing of the time, I can think, of course, and uh, as a thinking it's correct, I was born in uh, 73 years ago and I will die some years later. Within the realm of thinking, that is correct way of thinking, I mean as a human convention, but as a real reality, only here and now is there. And firewood has a past as a living tree, and uh, as a future as a ash, but living tree is already gone, and the ash is not yet come. So to, for the firewood, to being fire is 100% reality, nothing else. That is the way we see our life uh, from our Zazen. 
that is another thing to focus on here and now. Here and now has no arising and no perishing. It's, it's 100% here. In Dogen's teaching, there are three kinds of time or three ways of viewing time. One is our usual way of thinking, usual way of understanding of time. Time flows from past to the present and present to the future. That is one way. And the second is time only here and now, and which has no length. And third is time which doesn't flow. When he, I studied Dogen, he said, our Zazen here and now is one with everything in the past and in the future. I think that means from the Big Bang until now, this is one moment. We make a segment by thinking. You, you know, we measure time using a watch or using something like the length of the day. But when we don't measure the length of time using such devices, you know, from the moment of Big Bang and, and now, this is simply one moment. In that sense, you know, we are there at the moment of Big Bang. So we are as old as this universe. That is another way, you know, Dogen view the time. View the time means being, view our life. So our life in a common, conventional sense is we are born some years ago and still living and uh, I'm going to die. That is a co conventional way, but more practically through our Zazen, uh, this moment is only moment we can live. But this moment is together or one with entire moment, entire time and entire space. So this is really interesting way of understanding our life and time and space. <laughs>